14 acres, Phillipsburg, Montana. It's a really cool property. I actually went out to it just the other week. My name's Miles McLaughlin. I sell land at Wilco Land. Uh, what we do is we offer seller financing on all of our properties. We offer cash discounts for cash buyers. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to access it first and foremost, how to locate this property. Um, this is a beautiful property. It's got some great views um, and it's off-grid terrain. So it's really cool, it's fun to visit. You're gonna want four by four to access it. Other things I'm gonna go over in this video are things like utilities, um, you know, maybe potential potential buildable areas and kind of what I saw when I walked the property. So just kind of clicking through some photos, there's an old national forest cabin up there. Um, so, you know, things that maybe like, boy, you you know, people that explore the back country kind of understand what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you'll see these, you know, locals will know about it. You'll see them, um, you'll visit them, you'll stay the night. This one's been, this one's been abandoned. Um, there's like an old outhouse structure back here too. So there is a national, so right behind this cabin, this is the route I took in and I'll, I'll go over it. I'll get on Onyx and show you guys the route I took to access it. But let me kind of go through this first, the photos and the listing. Um, then I'll get into some access. So as you can see, when you're at the top of the property, there's some really beautiful views. You can see it's it's fairly sloped. And, and I'll talk about the property terrain and um, topography here in a second. But just kind of showing you, you know, just getting an idea of the landscape. There's elk up there. Um, this was the road in um, coming in there. So you can see that kind of how it looks. Actually, as you keep going, it gets a little bit more bouldered out and rocky. Um, so just make sure you have maybe a pickup truck or a Jeep when you go up there. You can also park and walk. It's not a very far walk. So um, yeah, just kind of clicking through some photos. This is really beautiful down at the, I think the bottom end of the property here. Um, there's some old lumber on the property from the past. I mean, if you're gonna build or develop this, I assume you know maybe uh, the lumber on the property, um, otherwise you can bring some in. Um, but you could clear some trees and really have an amazing view from the top of this property. So that's something to keep in mind. If you do want that view, the top is going to be um, the place where you're going to want to kind of develop that out. So there's that outhouse structure I was referring to. Um, and this is kind of just walking down again from the top of the property. This is that national, uh, the Forest Service Road um, that's on there. It looked like somebody had recently cut a tree that had fallen on the road. So, so the Forest Service is you know, typically maintaining and um, using those properties. So um, this is an aerial showing you um, the property outline. Here's another area you can see we you can access it to the top, which has your flat areas for development. As you go to the bottom, there's a lot of flat area down here. In the middle of the property is going to be a pretty steep section, but you have up top to develop out, um, and then you have a steeper inclined section. Then when you get bottom, it opens up and it kind of valleys out. So the bottom's got a lot of flat usable area, and the bottom's accessed from the cable campground. And so this is all forest service around you. And so what that is, it's Deer Lodge National Forest is what that is. So um, just continuing on here, seeing, you know, different angles. Um, we've got this all on the website. You can see, you know, the width of the property, the length. We'll have that measured out in some of these photos for you. And you can even see the elevation profile right here. Um, so yeah, that's all measured out. This, this listing kind of goes over everything. Um, you know, we offer more of a self-service business model. This is a parcel ID. You can search it on Granite County's website. Um, there's really no zoning ordinances in Granite County. Um, if you have questions about things, I just check with them. We've got their information there. So I go over some access and let's start talking about access right now. So um, what you're going to do to access this, I've got a few tools. I've got GPS coordinates. That's what I use. And I use the app called Onyx. So I'm logged into Onyx already. I also share Google Earth on um, a link to visit this on Google Earth, for example, right here. So I'm gonna download this, I'm gonna open up Google Earth at the end of this video, um, and I'll get it started right now. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna open up Onyx. And what I did to get to where I'm at right here, and I've got this location marked, but I'm just copying and pasting the GPS coordinates from our website. You can do that in Google Maps too. I wouldn't trust, Google, you know, this property is too, too out there to use Google Maps on, um, so I wouldn't trust that, but this is where we're at on Google Maps. You can see me using the GPS coordinates and you can see where we're at on a map. So let me back out here and show you exactly where we're sitting. This is where the property is located, right? Um, northwest of Anaconda, uh, south of Missoula, south of Drummond. So it's a, it's a really beautiful area. You're super close to Georgetown Lake from this property. I mean, that is a huge main attraction, Georgetown Lake and Discovery Ski Area right here. Those are big, um, big pros to the property. 
What's also great about the property is this shaded in color. This is all forest service. So this is all Deer Lodge National Forest. If I click on it, um, it's got, you know, different Boone and Crockett white-tailed deer. I mean, it's just got different hunting units. This is Onyx for you. Um, this is our property. If I click on it, after using GPS coordinates, it goes with the ownership here. Um, you can see, you know, this is more national forest. You can see the private owners are not, um, here's Deer Lodge, right? So you can see private ownership down here. Let's zoom out and you can see on Onyx, this road exists right here. This is the road that I took in. So it's technically from the south, right? You're going to come in and it really doesn't show that well on Onyx. Let me try and get a better visual for you. And what I also have going here, um, you can see that, you know, you can see ownership names and lines. What I have going in my Onyx program is I have a layer map layers for Montana and I have private land ownership. The first week you use Onyx, that's free. Um, after that, it costs money. So let me show you here. Um, this is Google Earth. You can actually see this road being used, right? So from this south end, this is the road I took up there. So you're gonna basically get, go through um, town here. You go through town, like just up past Georgetown Lake, right? You get on down here. Um, this is Georgetown Lake. Georgetown Lake is, is really a hidden gem in the area. Same with Discovery. So you're gonna get on this road. Um, I don't even see a road name right now, but um, this is pretty visible road. You can even get on Google Maps maybe and find the road name, but I'm not seeing anything on Google Earth at the moment. Let's see if I can get a road on here. No, nothing showing up. Yep, Southern Cross Road is the name of the road. So you hop on Southern Cross Road um, off Georgetown Lake and you just head up that road. You're going to head up that road and you're going to wind around here. You're going to end up going straight in here. And I believe this is, I got to look at it from this way. It's easier for me. So you're going to end up going up this road and continuing to take those dirt roads. Um, and you can see where you kind of get into the mountains here. So you'll, you'll keep on this dirt road here and you will end up staying right and high on this ridge line. And there's somebody's residence. Um, so you're going to go past that through, um, over to this like national forest, kind of that abandoned cabin is almost like on the corner of the property. So, um, again, these parcel lines, these overviews, what I'm using here is not exact. Like this parcel could technically be shifted right here, or it could be shifted further down. To really understand your true boundaries, you're gonna want to survey on the property. Um, so that's gonna, this is how this, this one works. Um, this is how I access it. This is where I parked up here. There's also an access route through Cable Campground down here, which we started on and we turned around. It's a little bit less defined, but I think I just ended up missing the turn. So here's Cable Campground down here. You can also come in from this north angle, you just pop into Cable Campground, you actually drive through the campground, you can kind of see um, like different, you know, the campground driving through um, and you kind of lose visual of it on Google Earth. Um, but, you know, this is the previous owner who sold us this property said this is the access route they were taking, but this road eventually weaves through here and see how it connects back here. There is a faint road and I don't know, it looked more like a like people were ATVing or using four wheelers on the road versus, you know, I would bring a chainsaw if I went this route um, or, you know, just kind of backcountry um, survival material because I don't know what you're going to run into going that route. I don't know when the last time somebody has gone that route. So um, there is that campground route as well, which is, you know, when we asked the owner about access, that's what he used. But um, this is that spot from kind of the south that um, I would potentially access it. And just looking at, you know, ownership here, you've got some private ownership. Um, everything down to the south here is going to be Deer Lodge National Forest. So everything around this property is a national forest. Um, there's some private ownership back here as I move around, but not a ton of it. So, um, you know, mostly around you is going to be Deer Lodge National Forest. When it comes to developing this property out, it's it's more than likely an off-grid property. You're going to need a well, you're going to need a septic system, or you're going to have to do some sort of um, off-grid type of um, development. Um, this is a pretty cool residence. 
um, here as you as you pass in. They've done a great job on their property. Maybe they you know you can use timber from the property. Maybe not. Um, but again, there isn't from what I can tell power anywhere close by unless it's going to be buried cables. So um, that's kind of the summary on this 14 acre in Phillipsburg. Again, using those GPS coordinates, using apps like Onyx, um, maybe going through um, Google Earth, things like that. So um, again, just a reminder, your, your major flat areas down here, you know, this is a great kind of hunting um, home base, hunting campsite. So um, take a look at it. Feel free to drive by on your own. We do offer more of a self-service business model. Um, so give me a call if you have questions. I'm at 605-250-1256. Thanks for tuning in.